that's how it should be. I get a nice little relaxing comfort to the race. What's up everybody, welcome back to another shaky video. Got the shaky cam out. I know y'all love this one. We got the uh, M340 versus M3 G80. So we're gonna see. Hopefully, you know, um, everything runs good. We ain't for no money. We're gonna take it out here by Mexico. We got a long way to go. What's that? Alright, let me know when you're ready. Alright, you hold on. Alright. Not every day you see a super casually uh, rolling around. That's pretty freaking dope. But super excited to get those runs in. But the bigger battle was who had grip. You guys can see in the first run, he spun a little bit and I just took off. I kind of had a good footing, so I just held it. I kept it and I held it. Uh, now it's the same thing with me. If you check the second race, I try to break boost a little bit more in there, but I ended up spinning the tires. I stayed in the gas. Hopefully the tires will kind of catch grip, but. It was over, you heard the car kind of bog, and then he took off, car jumped in front of us, so we couldn't really stay in the power. So he had that second one. The roll I had, I pulled up on him a little top. We did a bunch of different runs afterwards as well, but traction and traffic issues. So uh, hopefully we get out there and we run the cars again, or we just hang out. We don't even need to go too crazy. Just hang out, we do what we needed to do. Had a good time out there with the cars. We compared them, and I will say one thing though. The G80 M3 is a beautiful, beautiful car. And with a downpipe and a tune, that thing will mop my car up. But as it sits, $300 downpipe, M340 will murder a stock G80 M3. Uh, but pretty fun. Uh, other than that, I gotta go shop. I gotta go run and do some groceries, give you guys a walk around. Other cars should be for the eight. Uh, with that being said, we're gonna get out of here.
No, it's a web. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was a crack. That's what to say, Ryan. Just act like you ain't see that. It'll look better, but it's still gonna be noticeable. Yeah, I'm that's worried. deep. I don't understand how I got that deep. Cause I was doing, I was doing some speeds out in North Carolina, man. Apparently Hitting so. some speeds. Let me get a. You got a microfiber? No, I don't one? actually. Damn, Mike. I need to wipe off the. You have something to wipe off the bird shit too. Yeah. Cause it's been on the car for like a. Not gonna lie, longer than I like. Mike, I'm not gonna lie. Huh? This is interior damage. Ah, uh, well, let's patch rather it up than the, surface. Well, let's patch it up the best we can, Ryan. Oh, I guess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes later, the whole windshield starts. To... Yeah, there's not much I can do, man. One, it's in the black zone, so right. I can't really see. It doesn't, it doesn't affect me. And two, the car is dirty a lot, so it'll just look like it looks like bird shit. Honestly. Right. Yeah, because if I were to do this right, it's only gonna patch up this dot right here. It's not gonna mess with anything. Oh, so it's still gonna look the same. Yeah, it's gonna look the same because it's inside. All right, well, screw it. I'll return it. All right, so next step. The, uh, the bird shit on the car. Well, well, so you heard it here first. Apparently the damage is weird and that little $15 kit won't help. So just my luck. The only thing that will fix that is a replacement windshield. I know BMW windshields are pretty, pretty special. Uh, I'm not exactly sure the heads up display. I've heard something like that before in the past where the, head, the screen is a little different uh, to accommodate for the heads up display. Uh, and I'm assuming this is like, it's not your average, like, cheap glass.